for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Help is your mind. It's very difficult to speak that. It's more about stalking the bias to let him know that, look, I'm the big guy here, you're the little guy, and I will be on you all night long. Just like that. Let's go! Alone, in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him, but fuck him, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, talks picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even him starstruck. Humble through opportunities, given despite the fact that many misjudge him because he makes a living from writing raps. Put it together himself, got a picture connects, never asking for some. Help, 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 to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote His will is beyond reach And now it all unfolds The skill of an artist This is 20% skill 80% fear Be 100% clear Cause Ryu was ill Who would've thought he'd be the one That set the West in flames And I heard him wreck it With the crystal method Name of the game Came back, dropped mega death Took him to church I like bleach, man Ryu had the stupidest verses Dude, it's the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots And stocks through the roof I heard him fuck him with that this is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. They call him Ryu, he's sick, and he's spitting fire and might. Got him out the dryer, he's hot. Found him in Fort Minor with top, but a fucking Nile is porcupine. He's a prick, he's a cop, the type. Women wanna be within rappers, hope he gets shot. Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to blow. Now the record with your notice taking over the globe. He's got a partner in crime. This shit is equally dope You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's throat top He's not your everyday on the block He knows how to work with what he's got Making his way to the top He don't think it's a common on his name People keep asking him was it Given that Bertha doesn't stand for an acronym No, he's living proof Put him rock in the booth He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice Juice, him and his crew are known around as one of the best Dedicated to what they do and give 100% Forget Mike, nobody really knows how or why he works so hard it seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line and i've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind it's like a design corner wearing red officially weighing in at 117 pounds in his professional career he has 19 world title fights surpassing fellow countryman carlos manzon his record totals 35 victories, including 19 knockouts with two draws. He comes to us from Freleu, Chubat, Argentina. Moving up in weight tonight to be the challenger, he's the reigning undefeated junior bantamweight world champion, Omar El Uricán Narvaez. on what turned out to be a shutout win. You seem upset. Why? You know, I want to, well, first of all, I want to thank you guys, all the Filipinos, boxing fans, Latinos, you know, um, thank you. I did my best. Uh, I want to thank you guys for being here, and I, you know, I'm sorry that it didn't come out the way we all wanted. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed because, you know, they, they got great champions. I mean, I have a lot of respect for them, but, you know, you have Martinez, you have Maidana, and they all come to fight. You know, they're not afraid of a thing. I felt like as much as great as he was, maybe in Argentina, but he didn't come here to fight today. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, um, when I heard him in the third round, you know, I think, I think he shot his world. But I, we expected to do more. I mean, I, I did everything that I can to, to, to... Well, as it turns out, you won every round on the judges' scorecard. I thought maybe he shaded the second. Um, <laughs> Nonito, ringside, we were wondering, how do you open this guy up? Harold Letterman's theory was he should step around and hit him in the body. Why didn't you? 
Well, the thing was, I want him to open up. You know, he can, I can go all around him, but he wouldn't move. You know, he'll, as long as he had that, that, that shell up, you know, um, he wouldn't move. Regardless where you go or regardless where it is, he was the one type of kind of guy. He just had his hands up, and that's why I tried to open myself up to get hit. I didn't mind getting hit as long as I get my punch in there, and it worked in the third round, but he wouldn't do it again. Robert Garcia was telling you in the corner, if he doesn't want to fight, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't get impatient. Don't get careless. How did you feel hearing that after all these electric knockouts here fighting at Madison Square Garden for the first time? How did you feel hearing that in the corner when it was time to come out and fight? I guess I know how Pacquiao felt with, with Claudi, so, <laughs> you know, it was, it was just that, you know, the guy just had that shell, and no matter what I did, I mean... Who's next? Well, we definitely move up to 122, you know, at the later rounds, of eight, or eight rounds, I was starting to cramp up, and 122 is definitely the, the, the next weight for, for the next fight. We look forward to it. We look forward to it as always, No Needle. Bob.